Hi guys, Silver Gamers here today, and today we're going to look at some kills that I got into in an awesome, awesome game that I absolutely love. It is called Hunt Showdown. If you guys, I would rec highly recommend this. If you've already got it on your wish list, I highly recommend getting it. If you, uh, and, and just try to save up for it, it is amazing. I'll put the link in the description of uh, the Steam webpage for it. But the I will explain what the basic concept of this game is and what type of bosses there are, what you could encounter, and um, so there are some new things in this which I cannot explain. So like the leveling system, like the match MMR, which was never a thing before. Um, so right, we are going to discuss the concept of Hunt Showdown first. So Hunt Showdown is a player-based game where you go and hunt bosses so bounty so there's four uh, bosses at the moment and there's three maps there's a new one that's just come out and it's the west well or like western style sort of map and you go around the map collect clues to find where that boss is so depending on the map and then depending on how many bounties there are so you can have sometimes you can have one boss uh, for a whole map or two bosses and it will be split half half or a little side of the map, but other than that, it is an amazing game. I highly recommend getting it. Um, but we will be getting to the kills uh, in a bit, and a little sneak peek of a Easter egg that uh, me and my friend found, which is quite funny. Um, so I am going to pull up some of the um, bosses, what the what you can encounter. So the first boss is the butcher. Uh, the Butcher is a large pig-headed humanoid boss in Hunt Showdown. Wearing a blooded apron, it has a wooden metal parts pr protruding from its skin in gruesome gra fashion. The Butcher is equipped with a large meat hook, which is which it swings from massive damage, capable of downing a player in just a few hits. So, the boss, be aware, the bosses are very strong, and they do have very special abilities to their own. So the Butcher is a very hard hitting boss, just like the others, but he really does hurt. The Butcher can also throw his fireballs from afar and is immune to all fire damage. So if you have a Molotov, don't just throw it in there, it will do nothing to him. Be aware of the Frenzy mode during which grants the Butcher extra damage and resistance. If you're looking to take down the oversized porcupine pest, we recommend using shotguns and explosives. If you can find one or one and get up close, the butcher is weak to rending a meaning an axe will deal enormous damage in one strike. So you can ha have a two-handed axe and you can just swing it at him and it'll do a huge amount of damage to him. Uh, due to its low mobility, we recommend kiting the butcher around its environment as unloaded unload shots. With two players, this becomes far easier, letting one reload when the other draws it away. When the butcher falls down, toss explosives into it to deal damage. So, what that really is, is, um, so, it, it, so, to kill the boss, so, the boss isn't just around the map. You have to find clues to go find it, and it'll be in a building. It'll be upstairs, middle floor, or wherever the whatever building is. But it will be a big building, um, and sometimes it can be in in the same place, but it will be in uh, the other building. So there will be a big compound like a station or crematorium or fort, and it will be down. It will be in either two buildings. So you have like you have very 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 different things. But you got to be aware of players as well in Hunt Showdown because. Players will also be hunting the bosses as, as well as you are. You can play it with friends. It is more enjoyable with friends, but you've got to be aware of your surroundings. Don't scare birds if you um, can help it. It's a more of a stealth game sort of thing. But yes, I definitely do recommend this. Uh, the next boss is the spider. Those with ac uh, acnophobia, or acnophobia, I should say, would be best to stay clear of Hunt Showdown's spider boss. This one is really creepy. As it does exactly what it says on the tin. Long, hairy legs extend from this giant screeching creature. Incredible, incredibly mobile. So this thing can crawl on the walls, climb on the walls, upside down, spit at you. So it has poison damage, this one. And is immune to poison attacks. There you go. The spider likes to scuttle around the walls and the floor for of an arena, splitting globes and poisoned by the player. These leave poison clouds. Fire, so the spider looks scuttle along the walls and floor 
of the area splitting globes of poison at the player. These will uh, leave poison clouds that deal damage over time, acquiring you to stay out of them. Um... Where was I? Um, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So the spider also uses a pounce attack, crawling on the floor and attempting the, uh, a loud screech before it leaves. You can also damage the spider enough during this warning, it will be interrupted. So you can damage it enough. I find using my little tactic is really, really good. Um... Um, and I absolutely love it. We get the boss done in a matter of seconds, to be honest. Um, if you can damage the spider enough during the warning, it will be interrupted. Finally, the spider enters frenzy mode when low on health, increases speed and resistance as, as it chases the player, stabbing them with its claws, so it will hurt. It's not like the butcher, it will not down you in a few hits. Well, it will, it will poison you and hurt you, so the poison and that really does hurt. So you've got to be aware of that. Um, so enough of that. Uh, let's continue. Um, we recommend using rifles and lanterns against the spider to burn it because it is weak against fire and blunt damage. So it's weak to both fire and blunt damage. So look for explosive barrels around the area, arena and detonate them when the spider is near. Once you learn its moving patterns, the sledgehammer becomes a very powerful weapon against the boss. So that's another two-handed weapon. Um, once you learn, uh, da, 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 taking it down with around six strikes, it can spot the openings. If you can spot the openings of the spider's screeches, you make use of this powerful melee weapon for a quicker, uh, quieter fight. Which, again, I use my little bit of work technique and it really works. So, on to the next one. See, so Assassin is a really, really horrible one. So, the most recent addition to Hunt Showdown's Arsenal. Arsenal of bosses, the assassin is a speedy, slender human humanoid figure comprised of thousands of tiny insects. So he's like a slender looking thing, but he's not the newest one. Because the newest one is Scrapbeak, which I cannot get up anything. I've tried looking everywhere, and I cannot find anything like this on a description on where of the of Scrapbeak itself. So there are three maps. So there's one new one and two old ones. Um, and the newer one is like a western style map, so it is amazing. I do love the new map. I absolutely love it. I do recommend getting this game again, like I said. Um, so, the yeah, Assassin is one of the hardest bosses to keep track of as it swaps between human form and swirling pool of bugs. He can take damage in both forms, but has reduced damage while in swarm bugs. So he does like a duplicate. So you've got to find, you've got to kill the duplicate swarm bugs to find the real one. It's like an illusion. The assassin's main attack is a lunging series of stabs, so it's directly towards player, the player and striking forward before retreating. In addition, it also launches a ranged attack splash damage that requires a concentrate effect to dodge. The assassin can also... That is what I'm talking about, is the clone of it. So it will come at you and it will just scatter into a swarm of bugs and it will be all over your screen. So you've got to be aware of that. Burn them, and then yeah, you'll be fine. But once once it's hit you, it won't bother you again. There will be two others. So again, just be aware. But I just like to use fire to get them out of the way, so I can actually find the real one and just kill him. Um, be aware there will be players hunting you, maybe trying to stop you killing the boss, or just camping outside. So be aware of that. So you can be a sniper, shotgun, long range, stabby stick. Uh, you got stabby stick, which is a, a rifle with a, st a stick on the end, like a knife on the end, like a bayonet. Uh, you can be a crossbow, you can be stealth, but the game is mainly stealth. But right, let's get back to this. The assassin can also... Uh, blah, 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 blah. They are easily destroyed by range of melee attacks. When the assassin enters frenzy mode, it spawns two clones reproducing themselves if destroyed by the player. The best approach to fighting the assassin is waiting for it to rear up in front of an attack, unload into him, unload into him at this point to interrupt his attacks, dealing high damage. Destroy his clones when spawned, then wait for the assassin to attack again. The assassin is weak to poison damage and can easily be interrupted, provided that you are able to hit him with your weapons. 
look for lanterns and explosives uh, around the arena to use and use these to set him on fire during the fight for additional damage. So again, like the spider, it really does. But on the butcher, if you throw a lantern, it won't work because he is fire immune. Uh, so throw poison bombs to target his weaknesses. If you feel confident using melee weapons, then an axe and a sledgehammer are great ways to take it down quickly and quietly. So again, the sledgehammer and the axe are the two-handed ones. So yes, be aware of that. So other than that, um, yeah, that is all I want to talk about. And this game is absolutely amazing. I do recommend getting it. Me and my friend, I've been playing this for years. And he's got me into it. And I absolutely love it. But yes, I do suggest getting this if you already haven't. And if you have, let me know. And uh, we maybe we can play a few games. But yeah. Um, yeah. So it is a skill-based game. Well, not a skill-based game. But it is a stealth kind of game. If you don't like stealth, then that's actually fine. But it's absolutely amazing. Right. On to the kills, guys. I hope you enjoy. Kim. Yeah, true. I'm a man. That's what I haven't got yet, a normal one. Well, a normal sized one. Players, players, players. Go on. One's down. Second one. Shame, burn the first body. I have. He's here, he's here, he's here. Got him. I don't know where they're hiding. I think they're hiding in the back house on the roof. You know, on the second floor. Oh, seen one. Where? Got one! The other one's coming round. Oh, it's got shot in the head. Nice shot. One more in red shirt outside. Nice shot. One more in red shirt outside. Coming in. Job. It's going back. I think he's falling back just slightly. Got him. Well done. It is focused on you. Exactly. People behind me. Got him. Get out of me, swamp. That's amazing. Little Easter egg. That is quite funny. 